Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Tried and Tested. Now, as Chinese New Year is around the corner, which is the New Year according to the Chinese calendar, we'll be trying out some famous Chinese New Year snacks in Singapore. Nom nom nom. These are salted egg yolk arrowroot chips from Yahweh Delicacies. I love salted egg yolk and I love arrowroot chips, so this is like katapi. So arrowroot chips are kind of like a lighter, less starchy version of potato chips, a bit like tapioca chips, but even lighter than tapioca chips. So it's like eating really delicious flavored air. All Chinese New Year snacks, they come with this scotch tape that is like taped all around to keep the air in, but they're always like impossible to find the beginning. And this thing, right, something I learned from my mom. I used to get so annoyed when she taped it back, but it really worked. So you have to stick it on a table or something like this, okay? <laughs> and when you're done, you tape it back. Because if you don't, it will what we call lao hong. So it will lose the crispiness and it just becomes soft and just not as good as it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. These are really, really thin. So the salted egg yolk on this is really mild. So if you really, really want that salted egg yolk kick, this is not going to do it for you. But if you like a little bit of salted egg yolk and you want an arrowroot chip that is slightly flavoured, this will be really nice. It's slightly sweet, it's slightly salty, and it's a little bit creamy. This one is like really light and tasty. That is really, you could finish this whole jar in no joke, one sitting. I would give this. A 9 out of 10. These are Hebi Ham cookies from Divine Fine Food. So Hebi Ham is actually like this very fragrant, spicy condiment made of dried shrimp that's been like fried in spices. So this is a cookie version of it. Ooh, that's interesting. I can smell a lot of dried shrimp. Not so much like the spicy side of it, but I also smell... It's really buttery cookie. These look so cute, like little drops. Wow, that just melts right in your mouth. Oh my god, it's like... Oh my god, and there's a bit of spice in there as well. You can definitely taste like a bit of a spicy kick. And then there's that saltiness, that brawny saltiness of the hay beet. This is like a super crumbly, melt in your mouth kind of cookie like you barely need to bite like you could put this whole thing in your mouth and just like suck on it and the whole thing would dissolve it's that kind of cookie oh this is so good this is spicy maybe not so suitable for children just for the adults i would give this like a divine out of 10. this is so good now i know why they're called divine fine foods this is amazing honestly was not expecting that I was like, okay, it'll be good. I didn't think it was going to be amazing. Wow, the way that thing just melts. It's like, mmm. Wow, this one also can finish the whole thing once it thinks. So light, not heavy at all. Mmm. So pineapple tarts are like one of the most common things we eat during Chinese New Year and these are from Le Cafe and they are the golf ball pineapple tarts. You see the size and you know why. They're huge. So these are really popular and if you want to get them during Chinese New Year, it's uh, recommended that you order them like in advance. Like my aunt used to do that for me because I love these. <laughs> Yay! Oh look at that! So these are massive. I really like things that are really small or really big because they look so cute, you know? Like regular size. Mm. Mm. Oh, I feel like it's changed. Why is it so sweet? Well, I don't know if my taste buds have changed, but this feels sweeter than I remember. For the pastry, there's like a scale. There's the like harder, almost cookie-like, and then you have all the way to like the super soft, melt-in-your-hand type of pineapple tart pastry. And then for the jam, you have the very sweet to the not-so-sweet. Right? So I think on that scale, it depends on what kind of pineapple tart you like and it varies widely for a lot of people. Um, generally, I don't like my jams too sweet. But pastry, I usually prefer like the middle. <laughs> like not too soft, not too hard. For this pastry, I feel it goes more towards the melt in your mouth kind of pastry. For me now, I feel like it's just a lot of jam compared to the amount of pastry. Which some people like, 
I mean, last time I used to eat just the jam and not the pastry. So, like, are you know, taste buds change. I used to love this. <laughs> now I think I would give this maybe a seven and a half out of ten. If the jam was maybe not so sweet, I think I would love it much, much more. Much, much more again. So this is the lychee kuih bangkit from Butter Studio. So kuih bangkit is this sweet, chalky, melt-in-your-mouth cookie that is usually made of tapioca flour and coconut. And they're usually white in colour, but this one is pink because it's lychee flavoured. Oh my god. You know, sometimes you're like digging at it, right? And you realise that's the part that's underneath it. Mmm. I'm so confused by the smell because when you like, it's like, ooh, kueh bangkit lychee, kueh bangkit lychee. <laughs> it doesn't feel like they've kind of like gone together, lychee kueh bangkit. There we go again. <laughs> First of all, can I just say these are so incredibly pretty. So as you can see, the texture of a kueh bangkit cookie is chalky, fall apart, melt in your mouth kind of texture. Mmm, that's really interesting. It does taste like how it smells. It does taste like kuih bangkit lychee. Kuih bangkit lychee. You know what I mean? When I first tasted it, like, like it's really like a regular kuih bangkit. And then as you go more into it, like the lychee flavour comes out actually pretty strong. Normally kuih bangkit kind of tastes like tapioca flour, coconut, pandan, like quite mild kind of flavours and the, the lychee has a much brighter, juicier flavour to it. So it's kind of an interesting mix. I like it and then I don't and then I like it and then I don't. It's like kuih bangkit lychee, kuih bangkit lychee and I'm like, I like it, I don't. <laughs> I kind of feel like that, I don't know, I don't know how to explain like like one moment, it's like, oh, that's really good. And the next moment, it's like, that's really weird. I would give it a 510, 510 rating. <laughs> I really cannot decide. <laughs> These are green pea cookies from Yang Yang. Now, green pea cookies don't sound particularly appetizing, but apparently, these are really good. In fact, on their website, they say they dare to claim that they are the number one green pea cookie. They're daring to say you're the number one. There we go. So sometimes when you peel the scotch tape, it just rips like this. So you see how much you can salvage of the rest, otherwise you have to get a new scotch tape. This piece of tape is damn long! <laughs> I love it! Now let us see. So you know during Chinese New Year, right, people will have snacks and then people will come and visit and then you kind of like pick the thing you want to eat. If I saw this, I would not pick it up and eat it. But let's try it! It's just such a weird green colour, what is this? <laughs> I can't get over the colour. <laughs> Ooh, there's definitely a lot of peas in there. Mmm, wow. So there's this like crumbly, melty texture of the cookie. And then you get this amazing crunch from all the peas inside. It's like sweet and it's a little bit like savoury but not savoury because the peas are not salty. But the pea itself has a bit of that vegetable-y flavour but you can barely taste it. So even though they're pea cookies, you wouldn't be able to tell that those are peas. Maybe at the very tail end of it, you might a little bit. This is amazing! Oh, 10 out of 10. Oh, here, okay, I can see why. <laughs> but that colour really threw me off, man. <laughs> this colour does <laughs> But tastes so good. These are Chicken Floss Love Letters from Baker's Well. Love Letters are like this thin, crispy, sweet egg cookie roll. And they're super light and delicious and they're long and they look like they have words on them and they roll it up. It's really nice and this one has like leveled up and stuck chicken floss in. What do you do with this? Stick it on the side. <laughs> ah. <gasps> Whoa! These are really thick! I wasn't expecting this. Oh, I can smell that chicken floss. It's so good. Okay, chicken floss is like a chicken that is first braised and then shredded like really, 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 really finely and then fried until it's totally dry and totally dehydrated and turns golden brown. Mmm. Okay, so some of the chicken floss has fallen out. So you can sort of see what the texture looks like. Hmm, this is interesting. 
Hold on, let me let me decide how I feel about this. <laughs> I find that the chicken floss is a little bit powdery. So I feel like my whole mouth is like a bit filled with chalk. In normal egg rolls, I usually like very thin and very flaky. This one is a much harder, thicker kind of egg roll. It does feel a bit more like an ice cream cone kind of texture. But the sweet wafer and the slightly savoury chicken floss is a nice combination. There is a really generous amount of chicken floss in this. Like if you were to put this whole thing in your mouth, like I feel like it would be difficult to eat. So maybe if you just chop it into two, then it'd be just nice. So I mean, I like this. I think this is good. I would give this an eight out of ten. These are Grandma Tay's homemade peanut cookies, and she's like a famous regular at the Chinatown Chinese New Year market. And these are apparently so popular they get sold out very fast. So we got lucky and got our hands on one. Oh, these smell so good. They smell like freshly ground nuts. Mmm. It tastes very homemade. Like it smells very peanutty, but it doesn't taste super peanutty. It's so weird. Once at first bite, I actually feel like this tastes a bit tasteless. But then as you chew some more, like different flavors start kind of like coming out like little peanut and then butter and then something like there's something even flowery in this that I can't put my finger on. So even though this is a peanut cookie, there are different flavors in there that are like not peanut. I don't know how to say but it doesn't taste like just a peanut cookie, you know. I generally don't like floral flavours in my food. I'm pretty sure there are no flowers in there but there's something very floral about it that is not quite for me but I can appreciate how this is really good to a lot of people because a lot of cookies out there are very sweet. This is not sweet. I guess if you're someone who's looking for a peanut cookie that doesn't taste like all the other peanut cookies, this would be something to go for, for sure. I'll get a 9 on him because it's a good cookie but like just not for me. Because the, the reason why I don't like it is totally a personal preference, you know? But it's a good cookie. Okay, we've come to the end of the episode. If you want to find out more about the products, links are in the description below. Or you can go to our Tried and Tested Facebook page. If you are already subscribed, you can... Ring my bell... Ring my bell... <laughs> Hit on the bell so that you'll be notified every time we release a video onto YouTube. Or you can just download the Click Network app and you can watch the videos before they come out onto YouTube. Alright? And since it's Chinese New Year, Xinyan Kwaila, Wan Shi Ru Yi, Zhu Ni Men Fu Xin Gao Zhao. Uh, Gonian Da Ji. Yes. Okay, till next time, mwah, go be beautiful.